their strength. So I'd, I'm going to say play to your strengths. Go play the inside outside game. Use Dia Pop as a speeding demon to go to the cup against the taller Canadian ladies. Because I don't know if the, the Canadians can stick with her. And then try to see how far he can go. Get at least a couple of two point shots up by Fanny Sabo. And maybe you're in good shape. Fanny Sabo has played a critical role for Hungary. I was talking earlier about how both these teams just lost in the, in the most heartbreaking ways. At the horn, crazy shots. Think about the loss that Canada suffered with an over the shoulder shot from Gracia Alonso. And then for Hungary, Germany hits a two by way of Svenja Brunkhorst with no time left. Mentally, those are both tough, tough games to shake. So I think this game is all mental. It is. Who can recover from a mental tough spot like that the fastest? Look, I, I've been in a situation like this where you lose a semifinal. Well, not for these stakes, obviously. But when you lose a semifinal, and then you have to go win that, that, that third, fourth place game, that kind of the, the extra final you have just to get something out of that tournament. And it's so hard to try to get yourself loaded up, to get yourself focused, to get yourself ready for a game like that. But look, these stakes are the highest these ladies have ever played for. Hungry, Dia Pop has been in this game before. Yes, and that look on her face after the shocker against Germany. Can Hungary put together the game of their lives? Fani Sabo will miss fire on her first attempt. Kyle Montgomery, AK the voice of 3x3. Happily, alongside my partner, Boz Rosendahl, AK the mountain. We have had uh, an incredible time calling this action and it comes down to two final games as Catherine Plouffe will draw first blood in this contest, the last women's Olympic ticket for the 3x3 competition in Paris. Here we go. VV from way out misses it. Michelle trying to set up her sister. And oh. she's tied up. That's that'll count as a steal. Yes, because defense gets possession in a jump ball situation. Claudia Pop. Too strong at the rim. Certainly the margin of error is a lot slimmer for the Hungarians, especially with players like Michelle Plouffe chucking the deuces like that. Three zip Canada. Pop, no. Keish. Will recover the rebound. This isn't quite David versus Goliath type stakes, but no, but it's it's up there. As Canada was uh, a heavy favorite, a heavy heavy favorite to get a ticket here. Hungry though, they got the, the home crowd on their side, and I think they've uh, they played better than well anybody could have expected out of them. Yep, Crozen will get whistle for the foul there, Burundi. We'll have a chance to get hungry on the board. So VV Burundi. Rocket number 44 for the Hungarians. Has represented this country 17 times. With an international in an international tournament. Does get him on the board. Also does get the steal. It's clear, turns the corner. She's got Quiche, decides to take it herself. What a flavorful scoop. Oh, miss. Michelle Plouffe couldn't get the reverse to go. So Cat will start to operate top of the key. Page crows in two on the way off the iron. That loose ball is out of bounds. I believe that Hungry touched it last. Closer look at it, and that is the determination. 
Cat patiently getting the offense going. Ooh, she left her like a chemtrail. 4 2. Oh, you like that. I know you did. Man, that was creative. Ooh. Uh, yes. She's in her bag like fast food. Oh, Cat Plume broke her off like a Kit Kat. Spin move to the rim. Pop picks up the dribble, got a foul away from the ball. I believe the Bosch will be called there. Pop, no. We'll track it down. Claudia, fast to the left. Drops it over to Keish. Keish, point blank miss. Credits to Bosch for pushing her off her spot. She caught the ball outside of the paint. Plouffe, the stroke not stroking. And Pop will get called for the reach in foul. The first on Hungry. The last ticket for the Olympics is here. Eight players, Olympic dreams literally right in front of them. Crozen, no. Dime time as Dia sets the table. All foul. Nope. I believe that Michelle was behind that line. Yes, she was. So far, Hungary is sticking with the Canadians. And they've been scrapping and clawing to stay in this game. Canada, they haven't been able to hit any shots from the outside. Well, all they want to do is, for Hungary, is hang around, right? Yes. You, if you stay in this game, you're going to have an opportunity in the end to, to potentially do something special. And if you stay in this game, it might get on the nerves of these Canadian ladies. True, but if it gets out of hand early, and that's that's what I would be cautious against for Hungary. Yes. Just keep this, keep the game manageable, and I think that they got a shot. But uh, outside of that, it would it would be rough. Maybe some magic working here at home. We're gonna find out. Seven four now. But Ondi does not wait on the screen. Oh, offensive foul. That was gangster slapped anyway. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the heck up out of here. Good call. She pulled the arm. Crozen gives it over to Cat. Cat with the cross and the sauce. Give me those. Just the feel of the game, though. Canada's. Feel like they're in control. Obviously up eight to four, but they look nice, calm, cool, and collected. They do. Pull up. Cat continuing to go to work. Paparazzi, no. Michelle operating with her sister, whips it in, and Cat continues to dog him. That pick and roll, and we've talked about it before, is just unfair. It's two, six, three, six, four women going to work. A ball handler, a roller, and an easy layup. A result every single time they do this. Ten foul contest. Oh, Barondi. Playing with some passion here is Barondi. 
She's been the lone bright spot for the Hungarians early. Curls it. No. A wild shot attempt there, but Oni was losing her balance before the attempt. And a warning on Hungary. Five ten. Cat Plouffe, not that time. Pop has it cleared. Virag wide open. Gatu Namio. Dia, uh uh. It is swatted. Crozen, oh, beautiful. Move off the pivot. Splash. Yeah, and you, you were talking about this earlier, but Canada, they've been getting to their spots. They've gotten their ladies in position to score a fadeaway by Croza on the last one to go down. And Pop and Hungary looking down the same barrel as they were looking three years ago. Yep, that was that that was decided at the buzzer. This one might be decided sooner than that. As Michelle going to work like the weekend's up. Plouffe driving off balance. Only way to stop her there was with a foul as Sabo gets whistled. Michelle Plouffe, number one women's player in the game. She has brought her A game here to Debertson. As have our teammates, 13-5. Snap, crackle, pop. The quick drive, crossover, and the layup will give Claudia Pop a chance at a two-point play. Maybe this can get something going for the Hungarians who have looked flat in the early part of the game here, just outmatched by the Canadians so far. Indubitably, Crozen swings it to Cat. Catherine to Michelle, Michelle to Paige. Paige, too long. Oh, give me those cookies. Mm, num nums. Michelle Bluff. <laughs> num nums, huh? All right, I'm running out. It's late in the day. What do you want? Oh, give me that back. And the Hungarians look out on their feet at the moment. They are certainly against the ropes. And the sisters continue to connect. Second TV timeout. A game controlled by Canada. The last Olympic ticket will be given here and now. Both teams disappointed in the waning seconds of their semifinals. It is Canada who has shown that resolve. Team effort, but you can call Catherine Plouffe the catalyst. She got the team started. Michelle has been unstoppable so far. And Hungary have been on their heels like stilettos from the outset. Crows it. It's a misfire for her. She'll get reloaded. Pop swings it. Sapo. To pop. Pop, I think not. That, that block got Paige excited. 
She threw it back like a goodie but oldie. Or an oldie but goodie. <laughs> 15 to 7. Even my brain is malfunctioning now. I better sharpen up. 250 to go. Vivi, not at all. So Canada, again with this sizable lead, has been this way from the beginning. Made the point earlier that Hungary would have a shot if they kept the game in a manageable position. Uh, but this has gotten unruly. Canada's lead at nine. No good on the two attempt. Inside to Michelle. Michelle will convert it. Seventeen seven. So Michelle gets called for the foul. The Canadians are all set to celebrate. Just a matter of a couple of minutes. Keish got it double time that time. The hack on the wrist and then the connection with the chin. Because it was contact with the face, then we'll take a closer look at it to make sure that it shouldn't be upgraded or maybe it should be upgraded. And just one free throw. Vidak Kish, who has been outstanding. A great addition to the Hungarian team. They've leaned on her throughout this tournament. But it was, uh, it was a team effort that Hungary needed. And they needed the absolute best performance from every one of their players to really be able to contend with Canada. That one wiped away, three in the key. Paparazzi swings left. Namyo, rebound, Keish. Again. Catherine, Casey, you bet. Minute 38 and counting. Hungry pretty much down for the count. A four possession lead as Crozen. Wild layup attempt, but Cat is there to clean up the mess. Canada two points away, or a minute 16 seconds from getting that coveted Olympic ticket. Think about the journey that they've been on from the construction of this team, the ups and downs they've gone through, literally the blood, sweat, and tears when you talk about Casey Bosch. Buck 08. Burundi, uh uh, swat it. Take it back where you got it from. There's Michelle the cat. She will assist her. One more point. Pressure bust pipes, but it also makes diamonds. And Canada have definitely shined in this one. They need one more bucket, though.
Rosen making her move. She will get it back. It's scored, and the Canadians have answered the question. Pressure makes diamonds out of this four. They are headed to Paris. They will have an Eiffel of the Eiffel. Here is their Olympic ticket winning bucket delivered by the zone. Paige Crozen, Michelle and Catherine Plouffe, Casey Bosch, see you in Paris as they take the last women's ticket. And that eight team Olympic field is officially set. 21, 10, the final. Congratulations to Hungary on a hard fought tournament. Canada will go and celebrate. Not bad, eh? See Brian and everybody else over there. I know what this means for them, and uh, hard not to be happy for them, but also you feel for Hungary, who, man, battled as hard as they could. And I believe that team will be making an announcement pretty soon after we get it down to Boz Rosendahl. And he's standing by with. Catherine Plouffe, how does it feel to be going to the Olympics? Boz, down to you. Take your time. Okay, 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 here we go. Cat, congrats. Now, I know you guys dreamed and then worked for years and years and years. Now, look, I was at the last OQT in Japan. You just missed out on a ticket. You come here looking very good, but first shot at the ticket, and you go down. And then you go here, and you finally get that ticket to the Paris Olympics. Your first thoughts. Uh, God did it. He had a plan and uh, prepared us for a long journey. And uh, we just believe it's preparing us for the best situation in Paris. And so we're just so grateful, our team. We have so much um, joy and gratitude to be here. Love you, love you, love you, love you. And uh, we, yeah, we believed. But this is like, there's no easy games here. Hungary's a great team to play in front of these fans. Like, you're phenomenal to be here. Um, give it up, guys. Um, because, you know, it's, it means a lot when a city comes out to support this game, and that's kind of what this sport is about. So we're just so grateful. All right, I know you want to go celebrate, but you have some people watching from home probably, so just give them your last words. Well, we appreciate all the love and support from our family and friends, all the people along the way for five years, our teammates who've been a part of the journey. We appreciate you. We love you so much. And it's a team victory. Congratulations.